hello guys welcome to today's video by trust Stanley. and on today's video we are going to be doing a an app review of turnip application so this is turnip app if you do not have it just go ahead and type the name turnip and you are going to notice it display right there so all you need to do is to click on install and have it installed on your device so um turnip actually helps you to live stream on facebook page on youtube and twitch and every other application so um not every application most social media application it actually allows you to live stream and just like um your application i showed you guys previously just like omelette occurred turnip also have um, a community where you can also interact and have people watch your video so if you're ready to start making use of turnip just go ahead and click on get started and you notice where it says um community events inside clubs and rooms and um, stream 100 plus games on youtube facebook and twitch so just click on get started so once you want to record a video you can go ahead and choose this particular option but if you want to live stream you notice where it says stream now right when you tap on that you'll be able to start live streaming and also when you click on that um when you click on this button right here okay when you click on this button right here where it says record a video when you tap on that you're going to see a lot of settings that you can go ahead and set up but if for some reason you are not sure of these settings go ahead and leave it on default and also guys if you are live streaming on a smaller device or you want to live stream and do not want your device to hang make sure you make use of um um 480 pixel which is very low it's very low it's not very low it's like um medium your people are still going to view your video um properly but the test might not be accurate um, might not be perfect but it's going to appear very well and also reducing the size actually makes it to it reduces the upload size of the video and it makes it easier for you to live stream but if you have a very active a very um, high specification phone and also um you have enough data you can go ahead and leave this on default everything on default so when you're ready to start um live streaming you can go ahead and click on setup live stream and you are going to see all of the information right there you can select the particular game you want to live stream and you can go here and click on more game and choose just about any game actually it's going to display a lot of game on your device and then just display them for you so that is more like it so um once you're done you click on next but i'm going to select this um call of duty and i'm going to click on next info and then i'm going to have to upload a thumbnail for my live stream and then the title of the video will have to be on top and this is going to be the description and once i'm done and ready i can click on next i just press the down button so um if i want to enable these buttons to live stream i can go ahead and enable either youtube facebook or twitch or i'll just pick a custom url to live stream from and also you can also go ahead and choose the um video quality right here you notice um it gives you how many mbps you have to be spending depending on how fast your internet is anyway but i recommend you to make use of 1.5 mbps which is um 480p so if you're making use of 480p it actually makes your live stream go normal and also you can choose the live streaming mode you want to go this on default is set to landscape but you can change that to horizontal which is um which is going to be portrait but um for game of call of duty mobile make sure you use um the landscape option but if you are making use of um if you are trying to live stream um subway soft make use of portrait because the game is set on portrait and guys um you can actually live stream on multiple platform so whichever platform you actually select to start live streaming on is going to give you an option to go ahead and log in but i'm not going to log in right now because i do not want to start live streaming so i'm going to go ahead and back out back out even more and then i'm going to back out also so this is all you need to know if you want to live stream and on the club area if you want to join a club you notice i just select this button on the bottom area where it says run a, um, run a club now if you want to join a club and join a community on turn it you need to have to um become a member so in order for you to become a member all you need to do is to click on this login section to create a new account so when you click on login section you can either log in with your gmail or your facebook account but i'm not going to log in right now i'm going to do 
that on my next video so once you log in you notice it says um you can claim a club but i cannot claim a club because i'm not logged in so after you log in there will even be more details that you can add up here by adding your facebook um login detail and also your youtube you have to log in in order for you to be able to um, communicate easily and you can also notice that you can also chat with them on discord does it if you have any issue or you can just write them with email and they'll be able to reply easily so guys on my next video i'm going to be showing you guys interesting things about this particular application every unique stuff that this application can do i will pick each and every one of them and handle them one after the other so this is just an app review of tunip so if you guys are interested in making use of this application go ahead and download this application follow me on this video series and i'm going to be showing you guys almost everything that you can do with this particular application all right um see you guys on my next video please stay safe and peace